welcome back to my channel please don't mind my hair it's still drying i did just have a shower because i know i'm not gonna be able to shower for a couple of days because i'm in antalya turkey right now about to get my second nose job literally in like a couple of hours so i'm just about to head to the clinic speak to my doctor in person for the first time um i did already post a video talking about why i'm getting a second nose surgery so i'll leave that in the description below if you go want to go like watch that but um i just want to go over like a little bit basically like i think you can see my nose isn't straight it's it's still um deviated right here like i have a deviated septum whatever it's called and i do think the last doctor he did a good job on making my nose like look cute but the whole reason i did the surgery was to straighten my nose and it wasn't done properly and now i'm left also with really even uneven nostrils if you can see i don't know if you can see with the lighting and i also have this these like skin lumps in here which the doctor said is like scar tissue how it healed and like as you can see my like, tip of my nose comes here and that's the middle of my forehead so it isn't straight and um yeah that's basically it like i really don't like how it came out in the end how it like properly healed and everything like that i just think it could have been done a lot better so i'm really confident with the surgeon i'm going to this time it's a different surgeon he's a um, revision specialist so he does really good work for straightening and nostril repair so literally what i have and i do know someone who personally went to him and her nose ended up really really nice so i'm really excited for this i'm gonna go see him in person and we're gonna go see what he says um last thing i want to say though was i have noticed um because that video i posted why i'm getting the second nose job surgery was like six months post-op now i'm one year post-op and i've noticed this for like the last couple of months you can't see it because i think my freckles like fall on along the line of it but i have this like crack it's not a crack it's like I think it's like a gap between my bones or something like i don't know maybe there's a crack i don't know but i can honestly feel it i don't know if you can see it when i put like a face mask on like when it's like dark like i put a purple face mask on and the shadow it created like i could see it so hopefully he can smooth that over or tell me what the heck is going on with that because i'm really nervous as like as i get older um you know you lose volume in your face i'm really scared that it's going to sink into that gap and it's going to look really funky so but yeah this is how my nose is looking already But yeah, I'm not expecting perfection because I know my face is asymmetrical, but I do think I have something worth fixing. So let's go speak to the doctor, see what he says, and then I'll see you guys probably right before I go into the operation. Now, your nose now short mm -hmm. because of the gap looks crooked and white mm -hmm. uh, and over projector over rotation and collimation after my surgery yeah. your nose will be uh, long narrow mm -hmm. close gap fix the correction uh, crooked nose the yeah. uh, rotation the rotation and the project yeah. more feminine mm -hmm. and elegant okay Okay, sounds good. So I'm at the hospital now and I'm just waiting to get like my blood drawn and stuff like that. My surgery is in like one hour, so I'm about to meet with the doctor again. But I wanted to talk about that video to explain a little bit more of what he was saying because I know when he first told me your nose is gonna look long, it like scared me for a second. But basically what he means by that is so my first nose job it was a closed rhinoplasty and he overturned i think the word is he overturned my nose which means he lifted my nose even though i distinctly remember saying do not lift my nose because i already had kind of a high nose but basically he got rid of my columella which is this part here I'll put in a before and after picture of my first so surgery, my first nose job, but focus on the columella, okay? And the first doctor, he told me that it's fine because it'll drop and everything like that. Anyway, my new doctor is saying that's not really how it works. He should never have taken it away. This part should always come out further than the tip. It kind of doesn't make sense unless you look at before and after of like nose jobs um so i'll like let you do that if you're like interested in it but 
basically he also said that remember that what did i call it like a crack he said it's actually a gap so it's between the two bones on your nose he said they didn't fuse or heal together properly and that's why um i still have a deviated septum so the first doctor did go and try to fix it but because of my healing and also the doctor just didn't do a proper job that's why i have this gap now and my nose is still deviated he said that the little bulge things in there are scar tissue which he had kind of messaged me already about that like over whatsapp but he just had a look inside and told me everything um he did say my nostrils were narrow so there's like the skin bulge um but he's going to go ahead and correct all this and straighten it and close this gap that crack in my nose but yeah, that's how my nostrils are looking very uneven but i think that's basically everything um when he said my nose is going to be longer it's because he's going to pull down the tip of my nose a little bit and make it look more natural looking as well as bringing back my cold mellow a little bit so it's going to look longer i guess from this side but it's actually going to look smaller overall sorry one of the nurses came in bringing me my little gown and shoes that i have to get dressed into now she said but i was saying before like my nose is going to look smaller overall because he's going to be bringing my tip down oh and see like how my nostrils like are fucked but see how this part is like so long it's because he pulled it up that's what happens when they overturn your nose so he lifted my nose up too high so when he brings it back down it's going to make it look smaller as well as like fix the nostrils blah 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 that's basically everything i hope that explained it i'm gonna get my blood done now i guess this is bringing back so many memories but i wanted to say like it's so random but i haven't eaten in like over 24 hours and i'm feeling so like lethargic i guess and thirsty because my dumbass thought he said well he did say stop eating don't eat anything past 12 but i thought he meant 12 p.m yesterday but no he meant midnight so i literally had like breakfast and i remember eating a whole block of chocolate that was the last thing i ate and i haven't eaten anything in over 24 hours so i'm like hangry right now i'm so hungry so thirsty but yeah okay i also just remembered i wanted to show you what my nose looks like when i look down you can really see like how crooked it is you can see it comes off to the side and there's that crack i was talking about you can see it my freckles fall on the line as well so it makes it more obvious but that's what my nose that's how crooked it is i've been stabbed i guess i'll see you guys when i'm all busted and bruised now the doctor did say that i wasn't gonna get as bruised as the first one but like come on i bruise easily so i'm no high expectations i'm probably gonna be so swollen i won't be able to open my eyes but see you guys on the other side i have an operating theater i feel like shit i'm shaky Okay, you have to wait another three hours to drink water. I'm so dehydrated. So I'm back at my hotel now. It is the next day. I did go into operation at like 5 p.m. And I woke up at 12. That's when my surgery finished. So it was like 12 or 1. I was actually under anesthesia for like six hours. And I don't feel like any pain. And look, like no bruising. Remember how I told you? He said, oh, you probably like you're not going to get bruised. And I didn't believe him literally not bruised like as soon as i woke up at midnight as well like i wasn't i wasn't even that bruised puffy nothing so i'm really happy about that i'm not like a swollen <laughs> goldfish this time but um like i said i can't really feel like any pain um what he did this time was very detailed work and straightening and like correcting it and oh my god i forgot to tell you guys i knew before going into surgery i just forgot to tell you guys he had to take rib cartilage so now i have a scar underneath my boob here he needed to take rib cartilage to replace the cartilage of my nose on that deviation I totally forgot to tell you that but he said that even on whatsapp when i first started messaging him that he probably will need to take cartilage when he saw me in person he says yes we'll definitely need to take cartilage so yeah i have this scar here so it does hurt to move a little bit but i can't believe i forgot to mention that um i do have medicine that i have to go pick up and i get to start taking it now he just gave me like a bunch of like this is a wash like panadol um uh, there's a allergy tablet in here to stop using like sneezing and stuff so a bunch of stuff that i've got to start taking now because it's 6 p.m soon i got back i fell asleep but the worst thing about the surgery 
is when you wake up you can't have water for like three hours and you're so your mouth is so dry you feel so dehydrated like obviously you're not dehydrated because they've you know they've got you plugged in and everything like that but like it feels terrible and honestly I forgot how shit that was for my first surgery so when I woke up and I recorded that like oh my god I was like dying I was like <laughs> but no after three hours um they give you water and I literally drink like four of the little plastic cups they give you you know with the you peel off the foil and you drink because you can't drink the water from the tap here so I drank like four of them oh my god I was so thirsty um like I said I don't feel any pain in my nose Sorry, there was someone stopping outside. But when I did wake up, the only thing I could feel were my calves. They were cramped so bad. Like, like here, the muscle here, cramping so bad. I honestly almost cried from the pain. Both of my calves, it felt like they had cramped during surgery. Like, I don't know, like it hurt so freaking bad. And then I couldn't even like move my feet properly. Like I could wiggle my toes. Even now, like I... I, but that was 12 it's now like 6 p.m so like it's been the whole day my toes my feet my calves they're still tingling and i asked the nurses and the doctor that and he said it's totally fine it's because you were laying down in one position for six hours like the surgery was pretty long and i've also got this rash on my bum like the top of my bum and it's like really like itchy it's like two little red lines so i must have been like laying on something or whatever he said it's totally normal it'll go away in a couple of days um it's just because you were under anesthesia for six hours but that was kind of scary because I've never felt like this before, even after my BBL. But I'm pretty sure my BBL surgery was only like three or four hours. So I guess this is a side effect for being under for a lot longer. But yeah, definitely not a good feeling, especially like my bum. Like I've, I was like really worried because, you know, I have, if I've had a BBL and I've had filler. So I was like, oh my God, is this a reaction? But I really don't think it is because uh, it's right at the top, like the top of my like butt crack. And I didn't get any filler injected there. And well, my BBL was like almost two years ago. So it's probably fine. It's just like... Kind of like a little rash which i looked up and it said it could be a side effect of anesthesia but yeah that's basically everything how i'm feeling this is how i'm looking oh my god i literally cried for happiness when he showed me the photos like i will put in all the before and after photos it looks amazing guys like i wish i went to him from the beginning he straightened it fixed my nostrils my nose i didn't even realize how big my nose was it was so like bulbous -y, if that makes sense like it's so big i'll show you I am now two days post-op and I'm about to go downstairs to eat breakfast. I always book a hotel with breakfast included when I do surgeries because I feel like it just makes it so much more convenient. But my face is a little bit more swollen today, but nothing like my first surgery. But yeah, I have been sneezing a little bit. And honestly, the sneezing doesn't hurt my nose at all because it's plugged up, but it does hurt the little cut on my chest. So that's not fun, but yeah, I feel pretty good. I am now three days post-op and the swelling is probably at its worst now, especially like here where you did a lot of the straightening. This side is really suffering. <laughs> but I'm going to try to have a shower today. It's just hard because I do have the cut here that I don't want to get wet and I also don't want to get my face wet. So I think I'm just going to use like a cloth and kind of just wash my body. It's hard because I'm by myself, but we're going to try. I remember last time I was here, I had my mom and she helped me. So I could try to pull myself this time. But yeah, I just took some more painkillers because uh, I like slept so long this time, which I'm so happy I was able to sleep because it was so hard falling asleep. But unfortunately I slept through breakfast, so that kind of sucks. And now I'm hungry. So I'm gonna probably go out and look for breakfast. But yeah, let's have a shower. Hi guys, it's day four now since my operation. Uh, the swelling, the side. It loves this side, my poor eye. Kind of looks the same as like yesterday. It was a bit more sore when I woke up this morning, but I have been using cold compress. So this kind of melted down, but I just asked the hotel to give me some ice and they put it in gloves. And I literally just lay back and put this on my eyes to help the swelling. But I'm just waiting for my food now. I was feeling like shit when I woke up, I'm not gonna lie. Like I felt so weak and everything, but now I'm feeling a lot better. 
so yeah i'll update you guys tomorrow it's been a couple of days since i last saw you but i'm exactly one week post-op my surgery now and i'm actually getting this cast off today i'm so excited so excited to like breathe because there's like tampon things stuck up your nose and you can't breathe especially when eating it's so hard but yeah i'm gonna go get that done later today after lunch but right now it's morning so i'm gonna go downstairs and have the breakfast that's included in my hotel which i don't think i've showed you guys so i'll show you kind of what it looks like it's really convenient but um, then I want to go get my hair washed because I've had my hair up in this bun since my surgery and it's looking very greasy and not so good. So yeah, I will see you guys after that. removal isn't for a couple more hours so i'm just gonna relax by the pool but i wanted to show you what the scar looks like with a cut so it's not really hidden by a bikini but i honestly don't think it's gonna scar that bad so it should be fine um also you know how i said i had like my calves really hurt and i had like a rash on my bum after the anesthesia um my calves they're still like a little bit cramped kind of like i did a really big workout and the rash on my bum is still a little bit itchy but it's way better than it was like not painful like it was earlier okay i'm here at the clinic about to get the cast off i'm kind of nervous i'm, I'm gonna look like an avatar like it's gonna be all swollen and shit but we're gonna see i'm gonna get my hair washed I'm just cleaning it. Of you from the mirror. So nervous. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> From up to down, little to bigger. You see? Uh -huh. And stitch it. And pinch the left, pinch the right. Pinch the left, pinch the right. Uh -huh. Cut the edges. You know that? I do now. <laughs> On the second floor. I'm back at my hotel now and I definitely look like an avatar character with how swollen it is. But I'm so happy with the results. It looks weird looking at the mirror and seeing my nose like straight, like I can see it. And then taking the pictures looks like straight. It's like it's kind of weird honestly to see that. But um getting the tampons out, honestly it, it it's like a rush of oxygen goes to your head because you can finally breathe. And I feel like it just gives you a headache. So I did take a painkiller when I got home and I think I'm just gonna like lay down, watch a movie and just relax right now. But he did give me a nostril retainer. Um, so, but this one I can breathe through cause it's like hollow. I don't know if you can like see. So it's so important that I wear this. My last surgeon, the first one, he never gave me a nostril retainer. Um, they said it's so important that you wear this to make sure your nostrils stay, stay symmetrical um, and I have to wear it 24 7 for like the next two weeks and then the following two weeks I wear it only at night time but the longer I wear it you know the better the better the results but after one month like it's pretty much healed so you don't have to worry about it after that but yeah so this is what I'm looking like right now I'm gonna relax and maybe take a nap even I feel like a lot happened <laughs> okay it's been a little while since I last recorded I am now two weeks post up my nose job so I've had this tape on my nose for one week or just over one week now and I'm going to take it off. But I'm going to record on TikTok the whole process of taking it off and I'll come back 
when it's totally off and I look very swollen right now I know it's because I'm sleeping on my stomach right now and I will be for the next week or so because I did go and get my bum injected uh, I'm gonna make a separate video on that but I did go and get a ton of filler and it's definitely not painless it hurts and it's kind of like BBL recovery not as long I just want to stay off it as much as possible to let the filler soften and dissolve not dissolve oh my god soften and just fluff but that's why my face is puffy so i feel like my nose is gonna look extra puffy today but i'll come back when it's off okay i'm out of the shower i washed it as good as i can i've got to wear the retainer still for like another week full time this is what it's looking like honestly it's not even that swollen compared to like my first surgery but this is the side profile mm -hmm. and this one yeah but i really really love it so far Oh, I think it looks so good. Okay, it's been a hot second since I saw you guys. I am now a month and like a week, maybe two weeks post-op. This is what my nose is looking like. I absolutely love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, This is what the scar looks like as well. Look how symmetrical my nostrils are. This is crazy. So it's healing really good. I'm using the scar ointment like multiple times a day especially like as soon as i wake up and go to bed i'll leave all the doctor's information in the description below if you if i didn't mention already i can't remember Bye. oh my god happy one year since my revision nose job i'm finally editing the video because i finally feel confident enough to post this and share my results and share who i went to because i shared who i went to with my first surgery too soon and obviously that surgery was botched so i wanted to really take my time see how i healed before sharing the results and the doctor and the pricing and all the info but it's one year and this is how my nose is looking and i'm still so obsessed with it um a little side profile i love that i can breathe i love my nostrils everything I did spend i can't exactly remember because it's been about a year but it was less than five thousand for a revision nose job my first nose surgery uh, it's probably in my first nose job vlog but it was probably around 3,000 I would say and then I was expecting for my revision to be like around the 10k because Turkey is getting a lot more expensive But no, it was less than 5,000 because the doctor I went to Doesn't have a higher following but like I said at the start I knew someone that personally went to him and I knew his results were good and he was a revision specialist So he fixed exactly what I needed. I am going to say though because I'm very honest Okay, also I'm sick right now. So sorry if you can hear it in my voice. I'm like getting over the flu but I have to get this video out remember throughout the video i told you about skin tags and it's about the scar tissue and everybody heals differently so i do have it pretty bad on this side can you see it can you see it in there oh my god you probably didn't notice it but can you see this little tag there you can see that doesn't look that bad i guess when you're looking on it on camera but you can really see it's on this side this one's fine this one's really noticeable and i have messaged the doctor about it and he said i can get it fixed like pretty much cut away but it's like uh, another surgery but really minor not like i have to go under or anything like that i don't think i'm not sure but i don't know whether i want to play around with that because obviously it's not bad and nothing's going to be perfect so i don't know whether to fiddle with it or not but it has like been growing like getting bigger like you can see it when i do this you can see this little like bubble come out see it's like i don't know what the fuck that is but it's massive and that's the only issue that i've noticed but that's just my own body healing but i wanted to say that because it's something to look out for honestly with nose jobs unless you really really want it do not get it done because so many things can go wrong and it's on your face it's really hard to hide and i think it messes with your it can mess with your body image so much because your face is what you see it's when you're doing your makeup everything and i think so many things can go wrong definitely go to a surgeon if you are going to do it that specializes in noses like only noses because then you're going to have a higher chance of it coming out right unlike my first nose job i went to someone that did plastic surgery in general like he did boobs bum bbls everything and noses i don't think he does noses that well and that often to be good at it so definitely pick your surgeon <laughs> better than i did but yeah i probably spent around five thousand i think maybe six six thousand including my hotel because my hotel was separate 
but he did include like my taxi price, everything in that. So maybe six, seven thousand max, including food, my hotel, nose, like the actual surgery, staying in hospital. Everything probably came to no more than seven thousand for the entire trip. And I wasn't in Italia for a week. And then I got the cast off and then I flew over to London. So yeah, I I don't know, my recovery was so good. I really recommend the doctor that I went to and I'm just so happy with the results and I'm so happy to be able to show you what I look like one year later. Also, oh my god, I probably look different because I was editing this video and I was like, damn, I got all my filler dissolved. I do have new filler in, but definitely not as much as last time and I got all the migrated filler like in my lips dissolved, so we're back to being a bit more natural. So that's why I look a bit different. I'm sure that was like a little shock <laughs> when I came on just now, but that's everything for this vlog. I wanted to finally publish it. So if you have any questions, let me know. But I'm so excited to share this journey with you guys. And I will see you in my next video that's coming about my bum, my bum filler update. So stay tuned for that. Bye.